as I said previously, you can use decrease techniques decoratively and if you want to do that you just have to pair up left sloping and right sloping decrease techniques on the same row to balance them out. Previously I've shown you K2 tog and P2 tog which are the popular right sloping decreases. Now I'm going to move on to the left sloping decreases, the most popular of which is the SSK. You will often find the SSK decrease paired with the K2 tog decrease on the same row. So the SSK is left sloping and it stands for slip one, slip one, knit two together. So what you do, you go under the first stitch as if you're going to knit it but then instead you just pull it off the needle and there you go, that's one slip stitch knitwise and you just do the same again go under the first stitch as if to, you're going to knit it and just pull it off the needle and that's two slip stitches you've now got on your right hand needle so you take your left needle point now you're going to knit those two slip stitches together so you go down underneath those two stitches and then you just knit them as normal and pull those two stitches off and you end up with one stitch where you have two before so you've decreased by one stitch. I'll just show you that again just knit some more normal stitches Then what you do is you slip a stitch knitwise, so you go to knit it, but you don't knit, you just slip it off. Go to knit, but then just slip it off the needle. So now you've got two slip stitches on your right needle. If you remember again, the SSK is the name, that's the abbreviation of slip one, slip one, knit two together. So you've done the slip one, slip one. Here, slip one, slip one. Now you just have to knit those two together. So you take your needle down under both of those slip stitches. See? And lift up. Now you just knit those two stitches together at the same time as you would a normal knit stitch and they've decreased by one stitch I'll just show you one more time Do a few more knit stitches then you just slip one knit wise slip one knit wise take your needle down through both of those slip stitches, lift up and knit those two together. Pull those two stitches off and that's one more decrease. And that is the SSK decrease technique which is left sloping and is often paired with the right sloping K2 tog. Previously I also showed you the K3 tog which decreases by two stitches in one go. The pair, the left sloping pair to this is the SSSK. So you just add one more slip stitch to the SSK so that you decrease by two stitches in a go. So if I show you, this is the left sloping decrease you can pair with the K3 tug. You just knit as normal and just like the SSK you slip a stitch knitwise, slip a stitch knitwise but you also slip one more slip stitch, one more stitch knitwise. So 
now you've got three slip stitches. This is why it's the SSSK and this means that you drop two stitches instead of one. You take your left needle point and you go down through all three of the slip stitches and then you knit those three together just like you would on the SSK. You pull those three off and you've just made one stitch from three and therefore you've dropped two stitches in one go. So you've decreased by two. So it's a double decrease technique this one. Just like the K3 tug. And that's why they're paired together. So I'll show you that again. You just knit normal. And then just like the SSK, you slip the stitches knit wise. But then you slip an extra one knit wise. So you've got three slip stitches and then you knit those three together by taking your left hand needle point down through all three of those slip stitches like so and then you knit those three together to give you a double decrease.